Hello to bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvendril and in this video I'm going to show you how to enable TPM on an HP computer, okay? So I have done two videos in the past. Uh, I did the same on a Dell computer and an Asus computer. So if you're interested in that, the links are going to be in the video description below. So as you can see, this is a um, uh, Windows 10. This is my desktop computer. The, uh, the model I'm using is an HP ProDesk 600G1. So. Uh, the first thing you have to do, maybe you already have it enabled, so you don't have to do anything else technically, is to check if uh, if TPM is there. So in in Windows, well here can be Windows 8 as well, and Windows 11 is coming soon in a few more weeks. Uh, you're going to type TPM.msc, as you can see there. So you see the icon, and you click on it, and then you're going to see this uh, this menu. So it says TPM management on local computer, configuration TPM and supported by the Windows platform. Overview, well, you can read all that. A status, it says the TPM is not ready for use. And the version is 1.2. The latest is 2. So a TPM is a physical chip on your motherboard. So not all models might have it, okay? The, old, the older your computer is, the less likely is that you have TPM on it. All right. So in this case, it's giving me this message, which is very different than the other messages that I received on Adele and the Asus that I mentioned. So it's telling me that it's not ready, but that implies that it has it. All right. So I'm going to try. I'm going to test uh, BitLocker. So normally you want TPM to enable BitLocker. So BitLocker is a software that encrypts your hard drive. It be become it belongs to Microsoft. So normally it comes with Windows 10 Pro and above. So you right click on it and you and you select um, turn on BitLocker and you're going to see this turn on the TPM security hardware and encrypt the drive. Uh, so you go next and turn on TPM security hardware, disconnect any USB or CDs and restart the computer. So you click restart where I click and it's giving me a general error that it cannot be done. Okay, so that's the error we're having. So the next step is we don't have anything else to do here. So we're going to try to enable it in the BIOS. So I'm going to close everything and then I'm going to proceed to restart the computer and get access to the BIOS. As you can see, the computer is restarting now and now I'm pressing the escape key and sometimes it's the F10 key. It depends on the model. So I can get access to the startup menu. So as you can see, this is <laughs> the startup menu. And now you using the key, the arrow keys on the keyboard because the mouse doesn't work you go to computer setup or you could have press F10 and you press enter. Now from here I go to security, but before I wanted to show you the characteristics of this uh, model, of this HP model. So system information, I press enter and there you can see all the characteristics. Pro product name HP ProDesk 600 G1 SFF. I have done a video in the past on which I show you how to upgrade the BIOS version for this model. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen. So now we go to security and we scroll down to system security. And now the one we have to enable is embedded security device. As you can see, it's disabled. The other one, OS management of embedded security device is optional. I'm going to enable it as well, but the main one is the third one, embedded security device, uh, AKA TPM, okay? But there may be a time where you don't even see this menu, okay? I'm going to go back, pressing escape, and I'm going to go back to um, go up to security device and device security. So you press enter and embedded security device. It was available. Now I put it on hidden on purpose. So you can see if I go down now, we can only see two options. And those options are not uh, are not what we need. So I'm just making you aware that you might see this and you have to go to device security and enable it. Well, um, device visibility or enable okay so you go back I just wanted to show you that so you go back and I'm going to enable this one OS management and then embedded security device so when I try to enable this option TPM security device it's telling me that I need a password I cannot do it without a password so for that you just press enter and you go up set up a password and you type a password that you want. By the way, if you cannot access this part or you don't know the password, I have a video on how to disable the password and you can click on the top right of this screen for that video. So once you have a password now, you go back to system security and now in the third option, you press enter and now it's enabled. So the only thing else you have to do is press F10 to accept the changes 
and then uh, go to file again, save changes and exit. Yes, and the computer is going to restart. While it's doing that, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps, helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. So you can see the Windows logo. I'm going to log in now. And from here, we're going to do exactly the same. I'm going to go to the search bar and type tpm.msc. And now you will click on the icon. I'm going to zoom in. And now the message is different, the status. The TPM maintenance is, is a task is still running. So everything else is the same. You can refresh it. You can wait for a few seconds or you just can go like I'm going to do right now directly to the to this computer, to the C drive or any other drive. You right click on it, turn on BitBlocker. So we wait for a few seconds and now it's giving me another screen. So it's telling me how do you want to back up your recovery key, which is needed for uh, to encrypt your hard drive, to enable BitLocker. OK, so you can save it now and you can continue with the process, but I'm going to cancel it because I, I just don't need it for this video. So now this is how you enable TPM on an HP computer. It's more cumbersome than on Dell or Asus, but that's how you do it. Now, maybe you want to watch one of these videos. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.